Formula One is headed for disaster and nobody seems to be talking about it. You see, Formula One is all about innovation and pushing forward modern technology, and yet most of road car manufacturers are moving towards fully electric cars by the year 2030. So what does this mean for Formula One? Will it become electric? <laughs> well, no. You see, the FIA have a deal with Formula E to be the only fully electric single-seater series until the year 2039. So what on earth does Formula One do? Now, like I said, Formula One is a sort of playground for these manufacturers to experiment and test the groundbreaking technology, which they can then use in their road cars. We've got the likes of McLaren, Mercedes, Alpine, and Alfa Romeo. This is the perfect sport. All these big name manufacturers fighting it out to see who can create the best and fastest car. Like I said, more and more cars are going fully electric. And the reason the likes of Formula One gets so much money and attention. Very interesting character. Social media sensation, let's say this. <laughs> and modest too. Is that the big companies invest and advertise their cutting edge car technology. But what if that tech gets outdated? Then it loses the point and it just becomes something like horse racing, which is obsolete and boring and what's the point of even watching it? We've reached a tipping point because governments around the world have been talking about banning new petrol and diesel sales for years. While well, the future is fully electric, then why doesn't Formula One go in that direction? And F1 races have to cover at least about 300 kilometers or about 200 miles in less than two hours. And the batteries on current electric cars could not handle that at the speeds they're going. And that's not really an option because millions of rabid F1 fans might get pretty mad. Isn't it? So it's a bit of a dilemma for the FIA and Formula One. So what's the solution? So why don't the FIA create a formula which is just fully electric car? They created a brand new championship separate from Formula One called Formula E. I'm sure you've heard of it. Now this is basically the Formula One of electric cars. They're going to push forward the technology as fast as they possibly can and create the future, not just car racing, but cars themselves. They also made a deal. Only this new championship could be fully electric. The only fully electric single seater series with an exclusive license for 25 years. Now, why is that important? Because Formula One can't become electric. There'd been conflict with Formula E's rights. The license began when Formula E officially launched in 2014, so it expires in 2039. And by that time, most petrol cars would have been banned for almost a decade. So Formula One would be using decade old technology. So Formula One and Formula E were always gonna clash. The science of Formula One must bring us to the future. It just can't keep us in the past. But some could say having old technology isn't that bad. I mean, we have historic races all the time. Maybe it's not about the technology and it's more about the racing itself. I imagine these cars will still be one of the fastest in the world. So maybe it's not about the innovation of technology, but more about the hardcore racing. But does that mean then the likes of Audi who are joining and Mercedes, Alpine and McLaren will drop out because there's no point in racing if it's not going to benefit your normal company. Because most Formula 1 teams barely break even. So what's the point of racing if you're not going to make any sales on your cars? So maybe we see more Andretti's or Williams or Haas in the grid, more just pure racing teams rather than manufacturers. Whereas in Formula E, almost every single team is a manufacturer. We've got McLaren, obviously, we've got Jaguar, we've got Porsche, we've got Cupra. The list goes on and on. We even have an Andretti there. But if I were you, give Formula E a go. For example, in the race one in Berlin, there were 190 overtakes in the race. Compared to Formula 1, over the last three weekends, we've had like 87 overtakes in total. So give Formula E a watch. But what do you think about this? Do you think Formula 1's in trouble? What do you think will happen next?